We'll move on to decision uh, or agenda item number three. PUC analyst uh, Christian Noyce will introduce the item for us and our order writer remains the same. <laughs> A rock. <laughs> Steadfast. Uh, good morning, Chair Sullivan and commissioners. Item number three is docket number E002 slash M-21-222 and E002 slash M-19-333 involving Xcel Energy in the matter of the petition of Northern States Power Company doing business as Xcel Energy for approval of the Renewable Connect program and Renewable Connect modifications. The question before the commission is, should the commission approve XL Energy's petition for modifications to its Renewable Connect program? There has been a late filed item from A. Butts and A. Hansen, as well as revised decision options incorporating the late filed item, clarification regarding decision option A, and date corrections for decision options A and B. Uh, the items can be found in the back of the room. Parties are available for questions. Staff has no additional comment. Um. Parties that are um, going to be involved in this matter, if you could come to the to the front, and then whomever is going to be um, whoever on, is online is participating. If your cameras could be on, and I'm just going to have uh, participants online introduce yourselves first for the record, and then I'll have parties introduce themselves as well. So let's start with the folks online. Uh, Andrew Butts. Um, Thank you. Citizen. Thank you, Mr. Butts. Uh, Aaron Hansen, Minnesota resident, former WinSource subscriber, current WinSource subscriber. All right. Thank you, Mr. Hansen. Mr. Bond, start with you first. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to be back. Um, Chair Sullivan, good morning, and uh, Commissioners, Andy Bond with the Department of Commerce. Uh, Jim Dennison on behalf of Excel Energy. Nick Pollock, Excel Energy. All right. Uh, no uh, opening statements, so we will move uh, directly to um, Commissioner questions. Do you want to go first? Or, I mean, I have a question, or do you? Go ahead. Commissioner Means? Okay. Um, I guess my question is for the department, Mr. Bond. Um, I am curious why the department did not support um, the looking at the customer and the demand charges as a part of the ARR kind of recalculation. Or I've got a. Yeah, I think we first. have the, the items. We the items reversed. Um, reversed. You mean? Oh, I do. Don't worry, we've, we've been okay. doing it all day. Oh my God. Or all week, so. Happy to answer that question, though. <laughs> well, I, well, I guess when, when it's time is, I, I do have the items reversed, don't I? Okay. Ah, sorry. Somebody needs to help me. We're on the Renewable Connect, which had been this, before. That's right, okay. That's right, and I, sh I should know that. And I was, everybody did their part. I'm just the one who didn't. So <laughs> I, I lost my. Okay. I'm going to have to start with Commissioner, not me. Okay. <laughs> I, I do have a question. And I'll get into the flow. I, trust me, I'll get into the flow. Um, Mr. Bond, I, I, given we have new decision options May 10, I think they. Are comporting what we were trying to accomplish but I just wanted to make sure from the department's perspective what your what your preferred decision options are and in particular if we don't do uh, D uh, E and F and G uh, what the rationale at this stage for not going ahead with those yeah uh, mr. bond commissioner um, Tuma chair Sullivan um, we support um, decision options A, B, and C, the revise filed this morning. Um, and 
the reason we don't support the um, the other ones is not not that we don't share the concerns raised by in public comments. Um, it, these, but that these issues have been looked at by the commission in in previous uh, decisions, and um, it, it, it's a voluntary program. Um, and also, these uh, uh, thank uh, well, I want to thank staff for their their excellent briefing papers, thorough analysis, and 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 the review of the record, um, and also that uh, uh, the person who filed comments for the department is much smarter than I. I adopt those, and <laughs> he has now moved over to PUC. So I would be, you know, not. Uh, wouldn't be smart of me to take a different position than that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then to the to the company, basically the same question. Mr. Dennison. Uh, thank you, Chair Sullivan and Commissioner Tuma. Uh, for similar reasons, uh, we support the department's uh, thoughts on this. And in, including just to be clear, the, re the revised A, B, and C, you're fine with those? Uh, uh, correct, yes. Thank you. Sorry. All right, uh, Commissioner Means, any questions? We're good. Okay, I will. Mo let's move to a uh, deliberations motion. Well, I would, I would move A, B, and C, not not in in a sense to to discount the public participation. I thought it was very valuable, um, and you know, so I don't want. Uh, I don't want the people to think we didn't pay attention to it. I did rec read the record closely, and I concur with the department's analysis that a lot of these things have been addressed. This is a voluntary program. We do not want costs to start leaking over to other ratepayers in a similar program we'll be talking about that does have an AAR and a, right. <laughs> and a boss in it here in a little bit. Uh, and I, th I think we've we've successfully uh, um, cordoned this program off. Um, in, in a way that I think is positive for those who want to participate, yep. and and uh, doesn't affect the rate payers. So I think I think A, B, and C makes sense at this stage. Commissioner Sugar. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I I support the motion. Thank you, and I also support the motion. And I I do want to note I I very much appreciate um, the participation of Mr. Hansen and Mr. Butts. I completely concur with what Commissioner Tuma said. Um, it is uh, it is actually quite refreshing to see folks, uh, Minnesotans, take the time out of their lives and to participate in this work. I think it is it's it's very valuable and important. Um, so I don't want you to interpret what's going on. Uh, what if if we don't do D? Um, what uh, is uh, you know? Are very much uh, appreciate your your participation in the work. I would just indicate too that several of the thoughts that you um, are included in the decision option D um, uh, that uh, that are ascribed to uh, to to your work. Um, those are things that we think about very much, um, and I would say that uh, that work is being picked up in other dockets and other matters, uh, and is certainly, in particular, um, the establishment of an inter intervener fund. That this commission has been supportive of additional intervener compensation in general, opening up the the aperture on that. So I, a lot of your comments are very much appreciated, at, at, certainly from this commissioner, but I just wanted to note that, and I, I very much appreciate your participation here. So with that, we can move to a vote. Uh, is the, the, the motion is clear. Um, commissioner Means. Yes. Commissioner Sugar. Yes. Commissioner Tuma. Yes. And I also vote yes. The motion passes. Uh, and now we can move on to item number four.